Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to design this retro 80s text effect with the, all the backgrounds, all of this surroundings in Adobe Illustrator. This is the live effect, so you can literally type uh, something with the any font, any letters and then go quickly to graphic styles, styles to apply this effect. Of course, you might require to download the uh, font which is good times and you can find the link in the description okay so so far so good let's get started with a blank new document ctrl n or command n on your mac to bring up a new document panel i'm gonna work on this web large 1920 by 1080 click create and first and first i want to detach my gradient panel because uh, we are going to work severely with gradient and uh, uh, i want to focus on the gradient panel i also want to activate the appearance panel and go to my layers uh, to the panel options and increase the layer pane to up to 70 pixels so you can f see all of my layers here Okay, this is my setup and first I want to create and fill the whole canvas with the background. So I want to grab the rectangle tool and create a background with the size of my canvas and fill it with, the, with this gradient. Let me uh, start with the gradient tool. So click on the gradient style slider to bring up a gradient. Then click on the radial gradient. Then let's go to this gradial aspect ratio and uh, go to the 70%. And now within this glow, a whitish scene, double click on it to bring up the color picker. Then set the mode to RGB going on the icon on top right and uh, on the hexadecimal value provide this value okay i am working with the 443d5b 445b click enter to apply the changes double click on the dark uh, go to rgb then go to hexadecimal value and inside this field type 251534 2515 3, 4. Click enter to provide the changes. Okay, we are done with this layer, so we can create a new one and lock this one by clicking on this uh, free space between a chevron icon and elbow. Okay, within this layer, I want to start with the text. So I want to grab the text tool and stop typing my design. It could be uh, any word you want. I'm holding shift to bring up all the capitals, but we can use the capitalization also with the text properties. Okay, so a rocket. And I'm using this good times font, so you can again uh, use the link on the description to download this font, it's absolutely free. Okay, within this good times font, uh, first and first, let's go to the appearance panel. I want to also detach my appearance panel put it like on the my gradient panel and uh, bring, uh, <coughs> start a new field so head over to the bottom left of the appearance panel and click on this um, not this hollow but this field icon so to create a new field okay within this field I want to click on the chevron to bring up a color picker and set it to white uh, I want to then create another one from this white and uh, I'm gonna work with this on top. So with the top fill, I'm gonna use uh, this one. Gradient first, so click on the gradient. Now I want to come with the six colors. Six colors. Uh, two of them, the third and fourth, um, it's supposed to be in the middle, so set the position around the middle. Okay, let's start with the from left to right. Let's start from left to right. Uh, from there, in the position of 0%, I have 3A, 1C, FF. Click enter to apply the changes. 
now in the position of around 20 percent 20 21 percent is okay 7 f 7 c e 0 click enter to apply the changes so let's do it again 7 f 7 c e 0 uh, now in the position of around 50% FD, FD, FD We need to do it here FD, FD, FD Enter Now in the position of around 40, 53% 3604117 So go again to the hexadecimal field 3604 one C click enter with the position of 73% so let me move on the location of 73 you see the location is resemble in the uh, bottom text field uh, you can type uh, also if you place the cursor you can type directly here so if you want to come up with the precise value okay so um, uh, for this position I have E7 O7 uh, 8D click OK and finally with this 100% position uh, I want to set up F D F F F F so uh, 4 F in a row after F D uh, so far so good let me arrange a little bit this position at the position of 50 I want to drag the slider this one is for 53 so far so good and right now I want to grab the gradient tool click G first I want to gradient of course and then I want to arrange my colors from top to bottom just like this so they are looking decent next field so select again the field on the bottom click this icon to bring up a new field and with this field I also want to use the gradient probably this would be the hardest gradient because it contains 12 gradient stops and all of them uh, requires the arrangement so let's start with the first three the secret of this gradient is that uh, we need to pre, uh, we need to set the three colors and then arrange them, duplicate them and arrange them properly uh, on this gradient. So E O F F E O. And this the first one. Second one. D F three eight A D. D F D F three 80 second one third one is that this one eight zero nine nine a d f and um, now now we need to arrange them first into the this pinkish in the position of three percent three point three okay and in the position this bluish in the position of 11 percent oh that's good now i want to hold alt and duplicate duplicate the uh, the pinkish one and set it to position of 20 percent then i want to duplicate this one the bluish one and set it into the position of 27 percent to duplicate the gradient stop you need to hold alt or option key on your mark and drag then i want to duplicate this uh, whitish one and set it to position of 34 then again i want to duplicate the bluish one and set it to position of 52.5 now i want to go to the again pinkish one and set it to the position of 62.4 Okay, 62 something is enough. 
Uh, now again whitish one uh, to position of 70. Uh, then again I want to grab the pinkish one to the position of 76.7 see they are very tight um, 82.7 for the bluish one and I want to finish with the okay I want to finish with the bluish one so I want to put the bluish one into position of 100% and then duplicate the whitish and I set it to position of 82.7 so something like this okay, so, okay we have this very complex gradient very complex gradient and uh, uh, we need to arrange it properly and manage it properly but before I want to set the effect actual effect that will bring up this gradient to life and this effect we can uh, go to the bottom left make sure that your gradient is selected go to the bottom left again and right near the uh, next to the add new field there is a add new effect we need to go here and find the path open the off offset path from this path drop down it brings the panel up we can provide the offset value offset panel, uh, value uh, for this a design is 4.5 pixels click ok to apply the changes and right now while everything is selected make sure that everything is selected grab again the gradient tool and arrange it properly again uh, scattering all of them from top to bottom just like this this creates this nice uh, highlights uh, all around the text okay uh, guys right now it will be easy with the gradients because we left only with one gradients and it contains only five gradients top so let's go again to our white uh, fill and click on this button uh, let's go again to our white uh, fill and click on this item you fill then apply the gradient i want to start with the black and white again and then I need to bring up a couple of more gradient stops. So I want to set one of them to the position of 41. Then next to the position of 63. And finally to the position of 70. 78. Okay. Uh, as a position of 0, I want to go to the again RGB volume and work with the hexadecimal field 7, 8, one nine six four seven eight one nine six four click enter to apply the changes now go double click go to the hexadecimal field go to this grayish get rid from this grayish apply this b3 seven eight a eight b 378a8 okay uh, let's click on the this uh, color stop at the position of 63 uh, delete this value and apply this 6b16596 b1659 click enter to apply the changes and finally 78 Again, hexadecimal field, uh, 916089. Click enter to apply the changes. Finally, 100%. Uh, the last one, but not least, 69165B. Click enter to apply the changes wow we are done with this gradient and for this gradient we need to for this field sorry we need to apply two effects um, first of them is the offset pass we need to set the same offset pass so um, a small little tip you can grab the offset pass from the previous field select them make sure this selected the offset pass then hold alt or option key on your mark and just through it on your new field. Notice that it's supposed to be not only hand that is squeezing hand, but also this plus sign that means that you are copying this effect. 
but not riser just relocating them to the new field okay this effect is uh, this pass is copied but we need to add another effect so go to the this fx uh, icon again and go to the distort and transform drop down right now click on this transform to bring up a new panel of the transform effect and uh, good news for us uh, we will use horizontal value 1.05 pixels vertical value 1.05 pixels and finally the number of copies to 18 boost the number of copies to 18 and you can see how it looks when you click the preview click ok uh, so far so good let's go and uh, create the force field uh, so head over again to uh, white field and add a new field that right now we are working with the very simple solid field so uh, bring up the color picker by clicking on this square on the left uh, below the tools panel and we are working with the two double zero c three four and right now i want to again uh, hold grab and set a transform effect to this field notice that i'm using the alt or option i'm holding alt option while grabbing the effect okay and uh, with this i want to add a new effect that uh, actually it's offset pass so we need to go to the pass offset pass again this time i'm using the 15 pixels am i using 15 pixels yes i'm using the 15 pixels of offset click preview to check the final result this is our final result let's go and create a new field so i want to a little bit hide my previous fields okay uh, click a new field within this field let me copy the transform effect again then i want to go to color pick again and set this da 4a da 4a uh, ff so double f D A for A for A double F. Click OK to uh, apply this field. And finally, let's go to the effect again. Pass or set pass. Uh, this time it will be 17 pixels. 17 pixels. Check preview to see the result. Okay. Uh, click. We have two more. We have two more fields. Okay. Uh, let's again add a new field let's go uh, to color picker this time it will be c9 o or zero a e6 okay c9 zero a e6 click ok then go and again copy the transform effect and finally bring up other path offset pass and set it to 20 pixels 20 pixels click ok uh, so far so good last effect guys just do the following copy delete this whitish guy uh, copy your previous effect how to do it and just go to the ok now keep selected the bottom one make sure that you have offset pass set to 20 pixels and uh, the transform options you have this one and let's go and change the color first the color is supposed to be 8 e 0 a c b click enter to apply the changes and finally last effect that we need to do go to effect panel find the blur navigate to the gaussian blur so with the gaussian blur set the gaussian blur value to 15 pixels click ok 
This is our final text effect. Now let's go to the graphic panel, graphic styles panel. If you can find it, go to the Windows graphic style, Shift F5. And click on this icon while your text is selected, of course. New graphic style to create a new graphic style. For those who are interested only on the text effect, we are done, guys. I can congratulate you. Uh, we finish this tutorial but for those who want to create everything here all of these goods let's move on further so uh, i want to create a new layer and put it between my background and my uh, text layer i want to uh, therefore uh, lock my text layer for for a while okay so uh, first and first grab the rectangle click m or just go to the panels and grab the rectangle this time i want to show you the interesting technique of drawing the circle uh, within the only gradient so let me show you how it works i call it glow circle and um, it will be something like this so we need to go again to the gradient and set up a radial gradient then we need to set the colors and our color actually our main color would be uh, this 181818 so 181818 click enter now duplicate this color holding alt or option key on your mark duplicate it on the position of 42 42 percent location okay now bring up another uh, gradient stop set it to position of 50 pixels double click on it to bring up a color picker go to the rgb mode set the cursor to the hexadecimal field and set this value 00, zero e a f f click enter to apply the changes wow and finally duplicate this guy gradient slider this guy on the position of 43 to the position of 60 holding alt or option on your okay that's good and finally delete this guy on the position of 100 percent and again duplicate this 181818 gradient okay so far we have the gradient um, we have the very monotonous background and uh, this background doesn't uh, interact with our previously created first layer so uh, to make it interact we need to uh, alter the blend mode so go to the transparency if you can find the transparency go to the windows and then transparency here shift ctrl f 10 and i believe shift command f10 on your mark so within transparency go to the blending mode uh, drop down and set it to color dodge yeah color dodge this one and you see exactly uh, how it's changed it's changed to this glowing circle uh, okay we are done with this glowing circle actually we can again lock this layer and create a new one with this this one layer uh, between uh, the glowing circle and uh, our text layer within this layer let's create this uh, circle field with these uh, stripes and uh, in order to do this i'm gonna grab the rectangle tool and first draw a stripe actually i'm using the heights i'm using the heights let me grab it and put it in the solid color and these colors should be distinguishable okay um, with this uh, this stripe is supposed to be around 10 pixels 10 pixels of height i mean okay and the width is not that important okay within this 10 pixels of height i want to therefore delete uh, change the color okay set the color to 1b triple f3 1b triple f3 click 
enter to apply the changes. And now let's hold in Alt R option on your Mac. You can also select and Ctrl plus Command plus to focus a little bit more on this design and this transformation. I want to put it on 10, uh, sorry, 12, 20, of course, 20 pixels lower. So we can uh, see that our gap the same, just the same. And now I want to with Ctrl D, Command D, repeat this transformation. Uh, select everything, go to the object, find the pattern. Pattern, it's be between the shape and blend. And click the make. Now you are prompt with the Adobe Illustrator warnings. Click OK. Now click on this done on the top. And we are done. So we can find our pattern on there as a new pattern on the swatches panel. If you can find your swatches panel, go to the Windows swatches. So uh, this pattern on the swatches panel. Now what we need to do is to create the circle. So grab the ellipse tool, select the layer, then hold in shift and alt or shift and option on your Mac. Create a circle that we to fill the, uh, this ellipse. Within this circle, let me a little bit scale it down. Within this circle, go to the swatches and apply just apply the swatch. Okay, uh, so far so good. We can delete this design, leave this. Uh, as for now, we can, what we can, we can lock it and create a new layer again between the rocket and our, right now, our circle, striped circle. Uh, let's create this grid. Guys, uh, with this grid, we are going to create the rectangle grid tool. We are going to use it. Within rectangle or grid tool, guys, holding left key, start drag it to create a rectangle or grid tool. Then don't release the, uh, the left mouse button key, hold it. And then using the up and arrow, arrow keys, bring up more rows, these horizontal dividers, and within the left and right right arrow key bring up more of the uh, vertical dividers when you are done like 10 by 10 12 by 12 you can release left mouse button key we are done with this result and finally we can apply for now the same color and a little bit increase the stroke now we need to put it on the perspective and the only way how I know how to do it is actually use the perspective grid, but it's supposed to be modified. So let's go to the perspective grid tool. I want to delete everything. So it's a perspective tool for now. I want to focus on it personally. Guys, this Perspective tool has two vanishing points and we don't need them. We need to reduce them by going to the view, perspective grid, then go to the one point perspective. 1p normal view, this one. This one is... Okay, now going to the, with the perspective tool, go to the horizontal grid. Make it selected, make sure that it's greenish like in my picture and finally go to the rectangular grid grab the perspective tool selection tool and put it on the grid like this i want to show you like this uh, the, the other way to to do it is actually created right now while your grid is selected like this something like this okay but uh, i want to rise uh, uh, use my uh, perspective uh, selection tool uh, okay uh, grab guys grab the perspective tool because we are not done i want to first a little bit lift it up the grid itself so you see, I want to lift it up the grid itself. And then with these extension points that are looking like rhombs, diamond shape tool, I want to 
a little bit reduce the number of cells inside this grid so i don't want to very dense very complicated um of my perspective so just like this and now i want to draw a grid as you can see again it's a little bit cumbersome with the by using the by drawing it just like this so i want to again expand it and grab the perspective selection tool put it on this okay now i am satisfied with the result using combination of these methods i want to a little bit increase the width of it uh, finally finally when you are satisfied with the result guys um, grab the uh, first increase the stroke of course to around okay uh, seven points now go to the uh, object path outline stroke and to apply the gradient to the whole shape i want to use the common technique of the compound path so control 8 command 8 on your mac to create the compound path or you can go to the object compound path make just like this okay so we are working with the compound path we are ready to apply uh, the gradient and the gradient is supposed to be top to right it's a simple liner gradient two colors uh, within the first color it will be again let's go to rgb it's supposed to be f1 5c ff and next color the dark color i want to push it in the position of 40 percent then bring up the color picker go to this uh, rgb and set it set the decimal value to 8206a click enter to apply the changes now grab the gradient tool and um, apply it grab the gradient tool and apply it just like this just like this uh, okay what I want to do right now is to grab the rectangle tool, create a new rectangle, but not settle it on the perspective, of course. We don't need perspective anymore. And create it in the bottom third of my canvas. And then select everything, my perspective lead and my rectangle and my clipping mask. So I'm satisfied with the result. Of my perspective lead I want to bring up everything else to my canvas again I want to put the rocket on the grid the rocket text um, great and right now when I'm seeing the grid itself how it looks and I can first adjust a little bit the size of the grid great and secondly i want to put it below the circle stripe circle uh, and last but not least i want to mask the circle and this and this background so i want to select this unused uh, layer that i created to manage my perspective and uh, i want to grab the rectangle tool create on top of the rectangle make sure that rectangle is reached the finish the top of the grid and then select everything like holding control on your keyboard and or command on your mac select everything in the last panel uh, we are going to select this glowing ring this rectangle second layer and the fourth layer this um, striped ring and of course the rectangles that will used as a mask so i want to use my right mouse button context menu and make clipping mask uh, so far so good uh, you see that it's uh, put the layer into the wrong position 
I want to set it again to the position of uh, second layer and I want to change make some changes again uh, make sure that it's color dodged uh, okay I want to delete the unused layer and on my empty layer one of my empty layer let's uh, create a second glowing text just like this and uh, this is easy breezy actually comparing with the other designs you just need to now go and pick up appropriate font for picking up the font that will correspond with the old designs and we'll just use the open sounds and go to the character options uh, then and capitalize everything I want to use the open sans with the bold font weight finally I want to select the column to go to the appearance cre create a new uh, create a new fill create a new fill again sorry guys I forgot about the let me copy it from here i am copying the, the font then i want to select this field and apply this color to the new field then create another one i want to select bottom it's important go to the distort and transform transform put it a little bit down vertically to like uh, five pixels you need to provide positive and push it a little bit on the right um, you need again provide the positive make sure that everything is set up click ok and finally I'll go to the Gaussian blur again so blur uh, where is it blur Gaussian blur uh, check that whether 15 pixels is suited for you I'm ok with it click ok and uh, finally again go to the graphic styles and apply uh, create a new graphic style so you can apply uh, uh, both text you can create both text within a single uh, click okay guys this is how you can create uh, 18 uh, retro font in adobe illustrator uh, pay attention that also like 99 percent of this effect is the amazing vector some of them are not vector and particularly i'm talking about gaussian blur effect that um, may rasterize your layer if you are kind of like wanted to use it in the svg or something but again it's scalable it's adjustable and it's life meaning that you just can create something and click one button and you are good to go then click another button and you are good to go with this one as well and then uh, set the text that you like like source code or something and you have two amazing designs within no time okay again thank you for watching if you enjoy this video guys don't forget to visit tutorials.net for more Adobe Illustrator and graphic design tutorials and enroll in my Adobe Illustrator course that shows you how to create, uh, streamline your uh, Adobe Illustrator practices. So she, I will show you how to uh, manage their scripts, graphic styles, actions, the everything, everything that makes uh, your shortcuts that makes your um, design workflow very very sufficient so you can create kind of like uh, okay uh, if you're interested click on the second link on the description and go uh, to udemy to uh, see what i have for you in this course okay thank you for watching again don't forget to give a like subscribe and have a great day